Hi guys, this is Jessica here. I'm sorry it's so dark. We actually have no power. Um, we're having some sort of weird flurries and rain here and power keeps going in and out here so it's dark. Um, but I wanted to put up this video so hopefully you can bear with me and maybe just listen if you can't see me so well. This is going to be an Out for Blood which is the third book in the Drake Chronicles series um, by Alexander Harvey in this bind up. This is the third book and I read it all in one day. The series is interesting because it takes different points of view each book. The first book focused on um, the only girl, Drake girl, in 800 years, and she was going to be becoming a vampire on her 16th birthday, and then her best friend. And then the second book was based on one of her brothers and this other girl that had was turned into a vampire and um, was buried for 200 years, and... Um, she was taken out of the grave and stuff. The third book is based on uh, a hunter. Her name is Hunter. And she's a vampire hunter and she goes to school. They have a school for vampire hunters. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade. And then Quinn, who is um, one of Solange, who is one of the point of view in the first book. And then Logan is in the second book, who is her brother. And Quinn is in the third book and he's Logan's twin and Solange's one of her brothers. So, they give you different points of view, which is quite interesting because you get different aspects of the book. The third one was most interesting to me, being at the vampire hunting school. Um, I thought it was really fun, and that's why I read through it faster than I did the first two books. The series did get a little bit better, but I don't really know if I want to continue, first of all. I think there's two other books, maybe three, and it's hit or miss because it depends if you're interested in the point of view that is presented in that book. Um... I like the point of view idea um, because it does give you different facets of a story. It's not so dry, uh, you know, cut and dry, and I do like that. Um, like I said before, the way she writes is very captivating because she gives you a lot of details. You feel like you're there. The only problem with me is sometimes I just don't want to be there. <laughs> Sounds harsh, but um, sometimes just not interested. I guess I was more interested in the vampire hunting, and the girl dates a vampire. So in her family, it's like absurd. They're like, oh, it's a vampire. Kill him. You know, and she's like, I don't want to kill him. That's my boyfriend. So I like that whole forbidden love, too. Um, so it's pretty good. I mean, honestly, I'm glad I'm done with it. It's kind of sounds sad. I waited to read this for a very long time, and I guess my instinct was telling me, you know, don't read it. I finished it. I'm proud of myself. Um... I started the Diviners in between this. I read like 40 pages of it. It's really fascinating. It's really interesting. So I'm probably just going to go into that book. Um, I do have some books on their way to me. I think like six. Two, four. Yeah, something like that. Um, not all young adult because I read a large variety of stuff. It keeps things fresh for me. Um, so I'll have in my mailbox soon for you. Um, so this is just a quick, dark, <laughs> literally dark, um, book review for you. Um, but I do suggest this. I mean, it is pretty interesting. It does take a different take on vampires. Um, so for $10 for three books, this is a massive book. Um, I believe it's like, the last book was the longest one. It was 292 pages. I believe this is like 800 and something, 850 maybe. I mean, I read a lot. So this is like an accomplishment to be done with this. Um, so definitely check it out. Happy reading, and I'll talk to you soon, hopefully in better light.